Yo, what up, guys? What up, what up, what up, what up? Alright, uh, let's just go through some of the new patch notes. I don't know how credible I've never seen Riot News. Whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. Alright, so basically we're going to go over what did Riot kind of get right and what doesn't make sense. And let's we'll see what happens. I'll tell you right now, we're looking at a Jungle Garen. Um, Akali's kind of back, I guess. And for some reason, a Canadian Soul is getting nerfed the champion that... I mean, I'm not really sure how many games he's played, but to tell you right now, it's not as much as you would think that you need a nerf, but let's see. Um, looks like we can get a, an actual tweeted photo of this to kind of look at. Okay, that's a lot. Let's just go back. Okay. Um, going down the line. Yeah. And leave in the comment below if you guys think something that is, is, that's been done is, seems kind of ridiculous and, and I'll either do it or I won't. But the first thing it looks like, Aphelios will now display the weapons he currently has equipped as icons next to his above heat health bar. Oh, above head. I said heat. Oh my god. There you go. Cut that one out. Heat. I was trying to, I thought they were trying to spell health bar and then mess it up, but I'm an idiot and can't read. So, next to his above head health bar. Uh, stats being Lumen's mark attack resets have been decreased to one from two. Don't know what that means. Mark attack resets. So is that 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 thing where he hits you with his Q ability and he can hit you from basically anywhere? Um, turret attacks have been decreased from three from four. Yeah, that's good because I've actually seen guys drop turrets and pretty much literally kill somebody just trying to chase him down. Um, he's that Heimerdinger. So let's let's chill out on that. Uh, range attack damage on turrets increased to 3 from 2 AO spell damage to turrets increased to 4 from 2. Okay, so, um, attack damage on turrets increased, okay, so it's easier to kill them, right? So that's good. I mean, here's the biggest part about doing patch notes, right? A lot of people, especially you guys in like the lower ELOs, understanding what changes have been made when someone picks it. You're not playing how you were two patches ago, right? Or like for this instance, you see how it's easier to kill his turrets? I'll tell you right now, in 10.3, I ain't going nowhere near those turrets. Alright? Um, I mean, honestly, it's a one main. It's not too scary for me, but... Yeah. Uh, Moonlight Vigil R, range of his ability decreased to 1300 from 1600, which is good because his ult R was insane range. Um, and I still don't really know what it actually does. Alright, now the champions that we know what they do. Uh, Kali's E, damage increased. Um, a pretty reasonable jump as it gets higher and higher. I mean, once it's, it's a max out E, that'll be pretty decent damage. Um, R damage. Damage increased significantly. Oh my goodness. R1 damage increased to... That's uh, so the first time, right? Our damage increased from the cooldown decreased. So huge buff on Akali's R. I don't know if they nerfed that last patch. I actually didn't look at the last patch, and I knew that she got got it pretty bad. But my goodness, that is a pretty big damage increase and a cooldown decrease. Yeah, that's, that's pretty actually big for her, um, especially if she can do it every minute. Um, okay, mood change. Curse to said cooldown re decrease to. Okay, so they're, they're just doing kind of minor buffs on the uh, Mu R, which is. Here's the thing, like, you see that champion, but, I mean, overall, he needs something kind of dumb, right? Because it's a pretty. I don't want to say dead champion. Okay. Uh, Bandage Hoss Q, Dash Speed Now, increase the. Dash base. That one is Q lands, and then he. Okay, I mean that's reasonable. Because here's the thing with the movement: you can flash out his R. You know he's gonna R one. Four of you guys are standing straight. You can flash out away, right? Reasonably, it depends situational, right? Um, but if he goes faster, it gives him more opportunity. So they're really kind of putting a movement a little bit more on the map. So anybody who's in a movement bane or just recently stopped because they didn't like how his style felt, get back on it because uh, everything you're gonna be doing is a lot quicker, especially these cooldown reductions on the R and the Q speed. Uh, really, it's so nerfed. Celestial expansion, the act ability stars damage increase now decreased. Damage increase now decreased to 40 for 50. Damage increase now decreased. Okay. 
Active abilities, stars, damage increased, now decreased. I, I feel like something's not right here. Damage increased, now decreased. Are they saying they, they did a nice nerf because they increased his damage? I don't know. Um, last damage, that's good, because when those things spin like crazy and the guys are Riley's, he knows how to play around the Silver Screw. Now, I understand that not many people, especially in the Lordy Lows, cannot play as champion. Um, Imagine when you start getting to uh, high dining in a bob, that's when you're going to have the more difficulty in, in dealing with the damage there. Uh, Caitlyn Boff's bonus attack speed increased 20 from 10%. Bonus attack speed... Okay. So, I'm telling you, if you're playing the bot lane, watch out for that Caitlyn. So you got Aphelios and Caitlyn. Aphelios was nerfed, Caitlyn was buffed. Bonus attack speed increased to 20% from 10%. Okay. Uh, Darius gets buffed. I hope that's a joke. Uh, his passive, his ability no, now knows Darius's bleed deals 120% damage to monsters. So what it looks like now heals on hits against large monsters. I think it, what it feels like they're doing is making Darius and Garen uh, jungle mains. Well, potential, right? Because if he can heal in the jungle, yeah. So I think what they're really trying to do is expand the jungle pool. Is what it's really looking like, especially with Darius and Garen buffed. Um, and, and you'll see when we get down to Garen, but I mean, ability now heals on hits against large monsters, just 120% damage to monsters. That's gonna be huge. I think Darius is gonna be huge. I think he's gonna be low key to 10.4 um, jungle master, especially for low elo. I'm honestly gonna drop a video on that on uh, one of the Smurf accounts. Uh, whatever 10.4 comes out. When does it get released? What does it say this? What does it mean? Oh, we all right. Changeable killer. Bob Sorok and said it seemed like they get a nerve. I want to see what the Sorok and nerves are. Um, okay. Ooh, Blood Moon costumes. Katarina, MSG, and Trinier. I'm excited to see that. Uh, Diana buffed her passive. Now it deals 150% to all monsters. So Diana's getting a buff. And in the jungle as well. So that's three people right there we've already talked about that are getting pretty huge for the jungle. Well, on top of a Mumu getting his slip buffs. Which I think his Q is actually a pretty reasonable buff. That's a good buff. I don't think that's that it's bad. Okay, so Garen buff. Um, his Q bonus physical damage increased to this. Um, okay, so it looks like his uh, he's getting more AD scaling on his, uh, his Q. W went at max stacks. This will now increase bump armor and magic resist by 10%. Max stacks. Max stacks. I don't know. Uh, she'll now change to... Oh, okay. So shield amount actually also increased. 20% um, bonus health. That's going to be huge. I think... Garen is going to be pretty massive too. If Garen had a real CC, like don't, I get it, like silence sucks, but it only lasts like, what, half a second or something like that? Or maybe a, I don't know if it's a full second, it might be actually a full second. Um, yeah, I think this, this guy's going to be pretty reasonably big. Uh, and then his E now does 150% damage to monsters. So that on top of the Darius damage increase to monsters, I think we're really, we're really going to see some new jungle uh, mains this season. Uh, Meganar movement speed increased to 335 from 325. That's slight speed buff. And Meganar it does feel super slow for anybody who's played a hyper mini W. Um, maximum damage against monsters increased. So now, so now Nar is getting. I don't. I don't know. I don't use the encourage a Nar jungle. Maximum damage against monsters increased to 300 with all ranks. From okay. So he's going to do a lot more damage to monsters. Uh, starting off, especially Nar, Megar. Attack damage ratio increased to 50%. Attack damage ratio increased to 50% based on AD from 20%. Oh my gosh. So yeah, Nar's got a pretty big buff. Basically his, his Mega R. I mean, obviously, because he can, he can only... Mega Nar R. Oh. Um, huge ratio. 50% to 50% from 20% increase to 100% from 50%. So, huge changes there. Uh, Kale, see what they did with her new cast time effects for Kale and her, her allies are now split. 
one and a half seconds for cast uh, for self cast 0.25 seconds for ally cast cast time so when you cast ult on yourself it takes longer than if you do it on ally so they're encouraging you to ult an ally vice yourself if I'm not reading the right that's I mean that seems right cast time effects yeah it looks like her R is going to uh, take longer to cast on herself or does it last longer I think it's just cast right it just says cast time effects so it's actually going to be more beneficial for you to ult your allies more than likely than yourself and it makes if you and kale squishy enough so I don't think this buff was necessary I think they should have made it pretty reasonable for both because yeah, I get it, right? Kale gets late game, she's indestructible, but you put her in lane against a Nar or an Orn or a Garen or maybe even a Darius, and she will die 100% of the time because they're going to freeze the wave and she's going to be stuck. Um, Alright, moving on. Lux is buffed, okay? Um, Alright, Q damage went up a little bit, not too much, just 10 more damage uh, for every level of it. Cooldown decrease to okay, so the cooldown decrease is the kind of scary part, right? Because that's the biggest thing on that champion is her ability to, to land a Q on you. Uh, I couldn't imagine a game where Lux doesn't land a single Q and she wins. Um, but her damage increases. That's fine with me with damage increase. I felt like it literally was just the root. And for those guys who I've seen lane with Lux, not that it's advised um, or it's bad. It's not a bad idea, I guess, necessarily, but. With cooldown decreased, especially at max level being 9 seconds, um, you might actually start seeing, especially support Luxes, max that out. Potentially. Potentially. I'm not saying that is. Because uh, that shield is huge, but you'll definitely see it at least max second. So, I don't know. Mordekaiser buffed. I never want to see that again. Okay, let's see what they buffed. Darkness Rise passive. Maximum damage against monsters increased. Okay, so, that's fine. What they're basically saying is there's another champion that is getting a buff for the jungle. So we want what? Darius, Garen, Diana, Nar. That's four right there. Now Mordecai just has five new champions that could go into the jungle. At least that's what they're trying to push. Um, okay, so Ramus buffs, so they're buffing another jungle. So they're really kind of hanging on to the jungle for this patch. 10.4 is the jungle patch. Um, attack speed increase to 0. 0.656 from 65 or 65. They just put twice. Um, okay, so it's attack speed's increased. Um, nothing crazy, I guess. I mean, 0.3, or I'm sorry, 0.03 is pretty good. 031. Um, set buffed. Base HP region increased to 9.25 from 8. Okay, so here's here's the biggest thing about set. I don't know if there's anything else in here about set. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so here's the thing with set. And I, I think this happened in, in 10.3 where his W um, cooldown was increased. Perfect. Hit the nail on the head right there because this guy could literally take two or three people on W at the beginning of the encounter. And as long as he CC long enough, alt, does his Q combo, he's probably still alive and W's again. And his health regen with that shield. The dude was literally 1v3 under turret at level 3. It's ridiculous. I mean, obviously, given the scenario, he would have alt at 3, but... Um, I don't, I don't know if I agree with any buffs with him right now, because, I mean, you're seeing him in pro play and he is taking 2v1, right? And I know a lot of these decisions can kind of come from, they can kind of come from the whole pro play. They see win rates and they kind of combine it all and see what's going on. And I think that right there is a scary thing to see as a champion who's pretty busted right now and get a buff for anything. I know that's kind of ignorant to say maybe, but... I mean, as an Orn main, I'm not worried about set. The only reason I ban set is because when my teammates think that they should just gank me, and the dude gets a free kill. No, I kill him. It's one of those things that people don't understand how he's really played, I guess, yet. Still, for some reason, even though he's been out for a little bit. Uh, Sona nerfed. Thank goodness. Okay, uh, Q mana cost increased. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, that's reasonable. Because, I mean, people could spam that and spam and heal themselves. Let's see, noob. New, this ability now says granting an ally this aura effect will refund Sona 30 now once per cast. Granting an ally this aura effect will refund Sona. Okay. W, mana cost increased. Song of Clarity, mana cost. Mana cost increased for QWE. This ability now says granting an ally. 
Okay, so same thing with Q. It's going to uh, refund mana if she's doing it um, once per cast for an ally for that aura effect. So, cool, cool, cool. All right, Soraka. Now, before we get into this, I'm really hoping they did something to kind of take her out of this whole let's play top lane and literally ruin everybody's day kind of thing. I haven't really played against it. I played one game of it and actually, scratch that, I played against it actually in Season 9 and we were 2 v wanting her top lane and she was just healing up. I mean, dodging those cues that come down in a second, landing on two people, it heals her up way too much. Uh, and she ults if she's too low. Um, but let's see, okay, so base hit point increased to 535 from 529, okay? HP per level decreased to 74 from 78, so, okay, I mean, they kind of just didn't really do anything here if their per level is decreased and their base hit points are increased, I guess, they're kind of making up for it by doing the base hit point increase. Mana increased to 375 from 350.8, you're really not helping the case here. Um, this says Soraka changed, I get it, but I thought we were going to see a nerf here. Base AD decreased to 50 for 50. So, point zero four attack damage decrease. Um, Man per level decrease to 40 from 60. I think that's really going to help on top lane. Um, the base AD decreased to 50 from 50.04. You're just kind of fishing for stuff there, I think. Uh, okay, self heal decrease to 3% of AD from this. Okay, so that's actually pretty huge. Okay, um, I think that right there is going to actually potentially stop her from being top lane as much. Because she's not healing as much based off that, and she was doing pretty decent damage. The biggest thing was her healing herself. Okay, it was ridiculous. Uh, movement speed decreased to 10, 12 and a half. Yeah, you see that. From this, um, okay, that's. Um, that's a huge speed decrease if I'm reading that right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, w, healing increase to... Okay, so they are trying to force her for max W's um, bot lane. So they're buffing the W, they're nerfing the Q a bit. Um, that really is, uh, is smart. They're, I think they're doing a good job at least trying to put her back in the bot lane. Uh, rejuvenation healing increase to... 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so um, 10, 10, 10 increase at all levels. Um, maximum health cost to Soraka while impacted by re rejuvenation changed to if it casts while affected with rejuvenation, the max health cost will be reduced by uh, this one percent. If it casts while affected with rejuvenation, Soraka will incur no max health cost. Okay, so um, this is good for her in regards to with rejuvenation, the amount of health cost from her to somebody else, right? So it does, they are definitely putting her back in the bot lane. Um, I'm not saying that it 100% eliminates her from the top lane, but I don't think it's as viable as it was before this patch, 10.4. Now think about this, we're still in 10.3 right now. So don't go into this thing, these patches notes are out right now. Um, we're just kind of seeing what they're doing for the next patch. When the next patch comes out, that's when you guys can hopefully, we can all kiss the Soraka butt. Okay, we can kiss the sun to go back by. Alright, kiss him bye bye. We don't have to deal with that crap where we're getting poked down like crazy. Alright, top lane's already a crazy, crazy, won't well, seemingly useless roll sometimes, but that was getting kind of ridiculous. Um, Alright, Silas buffed Q damage increase to 40, 60, 80, 120. So, uh, reasonably big buffs later um, for the Q damage here. Um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I felt like his W healing has been pretty ridiculous lately, um, but it seems like his cooldowns, I, I can't really argue with anything for him right now. Uh, Talon buffed. Passive disability now says Talon's bleed does 120 damage to monsters. Oh, okay, so it looks like that's the sixth person that's getting buffed for jungle. That's insane. Okay. Um, Said change stats. Monsters are now affected by energy restore. The passive is building now is hurt. Is Zed going to be jungle this season? There's a cap. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, is that eight champions now? 
that's that's a weird one, right? Because there's there's a handful of things you can see here, right? If Zed goes jungle, and that dude comes into your lane, he's one shotting the crap out of you. Talon goes into your lane, he's one shotting you. Okay, so if you can't you have to kind of go with the tankier bot lanes. You have to go with the way more mobile bin laners. In top lane, you better play Orn, Set, or the Garen Darius if they're not playing jungle. Um, it seems like they're really pushing for jungle this season. Or, I'm sorry, this patch. I keep saying season. This patch is going to be insane. This patch is going to change the meta. It's going to change literally how we're playing a season already. This is... Insane. Alright, let's look at item changes. It looks like we're kind of getting to the end of here. I'm sorry that this video is so long. Bammy Center changing passive. Uh, burn standby by enemies for 6 to 23. Alright, this is the enemies. Okay, so they're basically making it to where Cinder Hulk is doing more damage. Or the Bammy Center, which is the 900 gold uh, item to build in the Cinder Hulk. Um, Yeah, that's crazy. They're, yeah, they're buffing the Cinder Hulk. They want some of the tank junglers as well. So, 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 what I see is, um, Force Fire Cave. Isn't that the upgraded Orn item? Am I crazy right now? It looks like, uh... Okay, so it looks like they're definitely, uh, putting a, a nice little, uh, a buff to Orn jungle as well with the Cinder Hulk, which... Great, I love playing Orange Jungle. I do. Um, Gargoyle Stone Plate change. Combined cost decreased to 330 from 380. Combined cost. Okay, so that's big for Leona mains um, and tank players. Guardian Angel, combined cost. Okay, so they're increasing Guardian Angel. Stopwatch nerfed. Increased to 650 from 600. That's huge. It's huge. Pay attention to the stopwatch uh, increase. Um, that's gonna be big. It's a huge item. It's one of the most annoying freaking items in the game. But I mean, it's it's one of those items that you kind of feel like is essential. You can't just get rid of like zonias. You can't get rid of stopwatch because that really can nerf the Zed. Essentially, keeping that item. If you get rid of that, it's game on. You might as well spam one shot assassins, right? Um, Sunfire Cape changed. Wait, what did I read earlier? Oh, so, uh, Sunfire. Okay, um, same thing with Sunfire Cape. Damage increased. That's still big. Uh, Zenia's Hourglass, combined cost decreased to 250 from 300. Okay, so, um, stopwatch costs more, but they take it away from Zenia's Hourglass anyway, so if you're not only building a stopwatch, it's fine. If you're building, building the Zenia's Hourglass, it's fine if that's 650, um, somewhat. Uh, room changes, perfect time to change. Timer of stopwatch increased to 14 minutes from 10 minutes. Okay, so, um, that's a nerf somewhat there. Let's keep reading this room now. Reduces the timer by 120 seconds for every takedown you get. This room no longer reduces Zonia's Hourglass, Guardian Angel, and Gargoyle Stone Plates cool down by 15%. Okay, so, so, this could be massive. For especially, like, Morgana and Swain players and stuff like that. This could be absolutely insane. Um, so, am I talking to people this whole time? Oh no, okay good. I'm like, these guys are probably losing their minds. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, so, um, yeah, every time you get a takedown, it's 120 seconds, so that could actually be bigger. Um, now, with the no longer reducing cooldown for these items, um, that's a nerf. Okay, so, um, you better hope that you're playing a very uh, aggressive lane, so like a swing Morgana could potentially, this could really benefit. This could actually be, I would probably take this right here over this if you're going to play uh, super aggressive. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, face rush buff. Amount of time given to carry out three attack spells increased to four seconds from three seconds. So um, you have the three attacks and the face rush pops and you have insane movement speed. Really increased increase movement speed to 30-50% for melee champions. Okay, so it looks like they're going to put phase rush for uh, melee champions to make it bigger because right, you see that with the rise and the uh, the Vlads and Cassio Pia's. I don't know who, what melee champions really can use this unless you're looking at a uh, Singe, which I think would be um, to 30 to 50 percent for melee champions. Yeah, that's gonna be probably pretty big. Uh, Hail Blaze change effects. Time lapse between hit allow increased to three 
three seconds from two seconds cooldown chains at eight seconds out of combat with champions from four seconds out of combat with champions. So Halo Lays is getting uh, what I think is a buff. Okay, right? Because um, hits allowed increase to three seconds. You have three seconds out of two seconds to get the, your, uh, the speed. Eight seconds out of combat with champions from four seconds out of combat plane. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's a nerf here. Cooldown change to eight seconds out of combat with champions from four seconds out of combat. So, um, eight seconds out of so you can jungle. I don't, I don't get it. Basically, eight seconds out of combat with champions, and it'll be good. Um, on the stone, inspiration keystone now says on the for troll can't be PTA or bunker. Okay. Um, Katarina Blood Moon. That's a you, Blood Moon. Ooh, that looks kind of nasty. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, published on the 20th. So a week from today, there will be no today. It will be added to the list when the changes are approved. Okay.